get this new paint job! Greetings Auto Buffs! Welcome to another Transformers G1 review and recently took a look at the G1 Bumblebee uh, well the KO carded version and an original 84 uh, opened version and today as a follow-up gonna be taking a look at the recent Walmart reissue of G1 Bumblebee and going in-depth on the differences between the reissue and the original one so these are a Walmart exclusive both in the US and in Canada but I know it's a little tough to track them down in some areas so if it's not available in your area or you're just not into the hunt the old-fashioned style hunt of going to the store every couple days or every day and trying to find these guys uh, he is available on Big Bad Toy Store both on his own as well as part of the four minibot set along with three of the 86 season three minibots oh and last thing before i kick this review off the history of transformers 1985 edition will be up on this channel next saturday so i know a lot of you have been waiting for that one i'm very excited about it too a lot of time and work has gone into that one but History of Transformers 1985 coming at you on this channel next Saturday morning and with advanced screening for uh, Sergeant Level Patreon supporters and up. So taking a look at the minty fresh nice glossy card for reissue Bumblebee. The biggest difference is that he has a cartoon accurate face which we'll take a closer look at when he's opened up. The classic Hasbro logo which is so cool that they're bringing these out for the various reissues like the Kenner logo on the Star Wars figures. This is the Canadian version, so we have a little bit of La Francais on here. And on the back, we've got the classic 84 back of the box battle art with some transformation steps. And then for the folks who have a tech spec decoder you can put it over top here and get the various secret readings and you also have the bio which I went over uh, in the first G1 review and uh, this I always preferred it when it was just English just because I'm from the English speaking part of Canada I don't speak French uh, very well if at all depending on the day so um, it's just, I, I prefer it to be like the, um, the original American version. So just do a quick comparison here. There is the original version and the, the differences I'm noticing right off the bat, ages five and up for the original, ages eight and up for the new one. So what has changed in these years that, uh, Kids need to be older to play with this now. Um, well, I'll get into the differences between the actual toy, but just taking a look at the packaging, a lot of it has been really faithfully recreated here. And there's an assortment number on the bottom, but they're different. Uh, this is the American only version. And I do like how that looks with just the English, but the uh, artwork Robot, robot artwork is just about the same and for you uh, detail aficionados the placement of the bot, of the bot uh, is almost identical so he's just a little more to the right on this one this one covers up the bot art a little bit more and flipping to the back yeah for some reason I mentioned this in the last video um, this particular version must be a KO of the 85 reissue because he's got Jetfire and Grimlock and all the 85 bots. This one I think is uh, more genuine to the original one. This one has the original robot point design. And this one has the newer style that's on all of the other Transformers, uh, current Transformers. And different looking instructions too. And I'm assuming his tech specs are the same. You can just hold this right up to the lens. That is 
Bumblebee past and present. And now we're gonna take a look at the opened one. And this is the reissue of G1 Bumblebee. And the biggest difference compared to the original. Now this is not a KO uh, for those of you wanting a genuine comparison between the reissue and the original. So this is this is my KO carded one. But as I mentioned in the uh, G1 Bumblebee review, the one I looked at in that G1 review is an actual authentic original uh, 19... 84 Takara um, This is an original bumblebee pre rub symbol so the 84 ones didn't have a rub symbol and taking a look at some of the differences between the two uh, Let's start from the feet up this guy has a silver bumper painted on and silver headlights Whereas the original one, these have always been a little tricky to stand up. Uh, just a black bumper on his feet and no detailing on his headlights. The new one, this is not a sticker. It's what they call a tampo. It's a uh, tampograph, something like that. But it's, it's not gonna peel on you. It's an actual paint application and the original one this is a super shiny sticker, still shiny after all these years. And um, the faces are the biggest difference. So the original one had the battle mask. Looks a little bit more like the movie. Uh, the movie look is more inspired by the G1. And this is show accurate. So he's got eyes, a mouth. He's uh, kind of smiling or ah, yelling. And uh, he's got the horns that are more accurate to the show. And on the back, even though the back of his card featured the 84 artwork, he's got the rub symbol. Let's see how well this works. While I've been doing the history of Transformers 85, 85 is when the rub symbol came in, oh, that looks, that works great. Uh, the rub symbols came in in 85, so I do a segment in that new history video trying to activate some 30-year-old rub symbols, and it's taking a lot of rubbing, but this one is great. And sometimes you don't have, even have to rub. I remember when I was a kid, if you just held your finger on it, it would change. So this was... Um, this was a, a gimmick that was in all sorts of things, rings and cards. It wasn't just Transformers. Uh, mood rings, stuff like that. These little cards that you would put your finger on it and depending on the color, the shade, blue, green, whatever, it would tell you what you're feeling like. But he's got the rub symbol on the back of his head and the original one has this sticker. It almost looks... I don't know, it's supposed to be a spare tire or, I don't know. But that's the comparisons in robot mode. Um, almost identical, other than just a few details, but if you're like me, uh, the thing that you really love about Transformers, as well as all sorts of other toy lines, is the detail. This one seems to be a little bit more sturdy. I wonder if it's because I, I have them in a in a groove. Actually, oh, the new one does stand a little sturdier. This guy's a little he's a little loose just because of how old he is. So that is a big advantage of uh, of buying a brand new reissue because the the joints are just tighter, stiffer. Color. I wanted to also mention color before I go to um, vehicle mode. This one is a little bit more uh, vibrant, saturated, I don't know what you want to call it, a little bit more canary yellow. It's very, very subtle. Hard to pick up on camera, but oh, it's, it's just so tiny. I mean, 
it's it's hard to to tell the difference but he is a little bit i'd say a brighter yellow even as old as he is compared to this one that is just a teeny tiny bit washed out but it's very very minor so we're going to transform them they both transform the same way and Actually feels a little more satisfying just because he is uh, tighter joints. And this one feels like that one's loose just from how old he is and how much use he's been like his head falls out the back too. So this guy is not coming apart at all. And that's another reason why I love reissues is because these <clears throat> our uh, our toys they were meant especially transformers to be moved around futzed around with played with not just to uh, sit as display pieces don't make, get me wrong uh, they make great display pieces but I always try to make an effort to make some time to pick them up and and futz around with them play around with them which is what I do in these videos so the comparison in uh, vehicle mode you can get a better look at the difference that the paint applications make. And I'll give you a 360 swag view of what it looks like. And I wanted to mention this in vehicle mode because it's, it's more prominent in vehicle mode than in robot mode. More paint, paint applications on the back. So he's got a silver painted bumper and red taillights. So these mini bots are very minimalistic. That head keeps falling out. And I really like these few extra details that they've added. They didn't go overboard. Just the extra extra paint applications on the bumper, the headlights, the back, and the head makes a big difference. So I always love the original one, but... Um, and sometimes when reissues come uh, out, they they do too much to them it feels like they go overboard and it loses um, some of the essence the fun of the original version so I like that this is uh, true to the original so as as an original Transformers fan uh, having played with this one when I was a kid talking about stiff joints there we go it's really stiff. Uh, it's pretty cool to pick up this reissue decades later. And again, it's kind of like time travel. It's, uh, it's a much more affordable way of opening up a brand new mint on card bumblebee. Not a lot of people are doing that today. Opening up a 1984 mint on card bumblebee or 85. Um, those are just too expensive to waste a mint on card bumblebee so uh, to be able to open up a reissue and get to play with a brand new bumblebee you can't beat that so that's the g1 reissue bumblebee quite nice and a great affordable alternative to uh, mint on card original or even some of the bigger reissues like optimus prime devastator sets like that Thanks for watching. Big thanks to the Patreon tribe for your support. Feel free to leave a comment below and to join the tribe, hit subscribe. Until the History of Transformers 1985 edition next week, transform and roll out!